welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another winter look with Summer Palette. This is the second video in a little mini-series that I'm doing here on my channel. And the first video I did using the Alamara Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, and today I'm going to be using the Violet Voss Flamingo eyeshadow palette. Super excited for this one because I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes from 2018. And I'm so excited to use it again. If you're not familiar with this series, it's just like the title says, I'm basically doing winter inspired looks using summer palettes or just an excuse for me to kind of use things that I bought that maybe were marketed towards a specific season. I don't want to follow the rules. I don't I don't think that there should be rules in makeup and I think most of us can kind of agree that there's no rules in makeup and so and I thought a little series like this would be a fun way to fuel my creativity and make sure I'm using products that I own and love. So today, like I said, we're going to be using the Flamingo eyeshadow palette and I'm going to jump right in. My brows are done but none of my other face makeup is done because I have a feeling this look could get a little smoky so I'm going to do my foundation after my eyes. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the CoverGirl lid Laka. To start off this look, I am going to take the shade Watermelon, this pretty matte watermelon shade, and I'm just going to pack it all over my lid. I'm using this brush from L'Oreal and Lang Nicole. It's just kind of a pointed um, blender brush, I guess you could say, but it works really well for packing on matte shadow. I do have that CoverGirl primer. It's a little bit tacky, so this will really adhere to my eyelid. So I am packing on the shade Watermelon, which is a matte watermelon shade, and I am packing that all over my lid, over that sticky eyeshadow primer. So I'm pretty much packing that everywhere. I packed it from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and just above my crease. After I have the shadow packed on, I'm taking the same brush that I used to pack on the shadow and I'm blending out the edges of the eyeshadow so that they are smooth, sort of nicely blended edges. Then I'm taking the shade Sand, which is sort of a pink toned, light neutral color. Taking a different brush, I'm starting at the brow bone, and this is just a Wet n Wild brush, and I am sort of packing on that color to really highlight the brow bone, kind of carving out the brow bone shape. After I have the main arc of the brow bone carved out, I'm going to go back over all the way to the other end of my brows, add a little bit of shadow there, and then I'm going to blend everything together again to just kind of help create a nice gradient. Okay, now comes the more smoky, wintry part. I'm going to take the shade Sunnies, which is a matte black, and I said this in my other video, but I just love that they threw this in here because it does make this palette a lot more, not only versatile, but just like appropriate for different seasons. With a black shadow, I mean, you can just do so much more with, you know, any look you would do with these colors. If you add a black shadow and it just completely changes the look, so it really like doubles, at least, the amount of looks you can do with this palette. If you're comfortable using black, I know not everyone is comfortable with black, but I highly recommend that you try it because it really can transform a look. So I'm taking a small pencil brush and very lightly starting with a little bit of black and building it up slowly. And once I have it kind of placed where I like it, I'm taking a different skinny blending brush. This one's by Real Techniques. It's their defining crease brush. And I'm using it to very precisely blend out that black shadow. And I just keep adding more and blending it out. And I like to use two brushes, one that one to place the shadow and one to blend the shadow out. I feel like that gives me a little bit more control and like room for error, if that makes sense. Um, and then, yeah, I just keep doing that until it's blended out in a shape that I like. And I go from one eye to the other to make sure that it is even. And here we are. So now I have the black placed. I am going to take this shade pink wheel really really pretty shade I'm taking pinwheel I am packing that from the inner corner all the way to right where the black shade starts I'm just really packing that on once I have the shade pinwheel packed on I'm going in with the shade flip-flops this really pretty a little bit lighter than pinwheel and it has specks of blue glitter in it it is a stunning shadow and I'm just packing that pretty much right over the shade pinwheel then I'm taking the shade surf and I'm putting that on the inner corner it's a little bit of blue on that inner corner and I did go back with the skinny blender brush from Real Techniques and touched up the black shadow just a little bit and now I am going to finish the rest of my face and I will be back to finish up my eyes my lower lash line everything like that so yeah I'll be right back oh. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I added mascara. I finished my face, obviously. I added some eyeliner in the waterline. <clears throat> I just want to go over with this e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner just a little bit on my upper lash line to kind of define the line. Alright, 
I'm kind of torn because I kind of want to do blue on the lower lash line, but I feel like that's a very summery thing that I do. I'm trying to be wintry, so I'm going to stick with watermelon, and I'm going to buff that out on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take the shade Surf and apply a little bit of that kind of, it's what I have on my inner corner, I'm going to kind of drag it down a little bit. I would call this shade like a duo chrome. I mean, it is, it looks a lot more blue in the pan, but on my skin, it's pulling a lot more yellow and it's really pretty. And I just like that little pop of, I mean, the whole look is colorful, but I like that pop of whatever color this is, bluish yellow. <laughs> uh, I like that on the inner corner there. I'm going to line my lips with this lip liner from Wet n Wild in the shade I Got the Juice. And little tip, if you are looking for a way to like instantly winterize any makeup look, dark berry toned lip, fantastic way to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss because I've been really wanting to try this, not try, I've tried it before, I've been really wanting to use this gloss. This is by Wet n Wild in the shade, yes, Virgo. It's got this like brown base with tons and tons of blue glitter. It's like a brownish reddish base with tons of blue glitter and I think it will be really really pretty with this look. Alright, this look is complete. I love it. I love the wintry factor to it and like I said I love that this palette has a black in it. If I were to try to do another wintry look with this palette I could see myself sticking towards the red pinks and this purple would be really pretty to incorporate into a wintry look. I don't think these blues would work for my purpose. Maybe Oceanfront would because it's lighter. You could mix that in with some other colors, but I feel like Tidal Wave and Beach Ball are very summery in my opinion. Again, do whatever you want whenever you want, but that's just my opinion. Um, and same with these like orange and yellows. I feel like I would keep those for summer, but the rest of the shades, these two rows, this row, and then this shade too, um, could definitely be used for more wintry looks and again with that black you could you could do these if you mix it with the black and it could totally be wintry that's just sort of my thoughts on it and I kind of want like this shade seashell would be really pretty on the inner corner but I do like that I used surf for that blue pop um, but there's just so many options and this palette is still available I did check Sephora website yesterday and this palette is still available so if you are interested in it and you're looking for a really pretty colorful palette this is the second one I own from Violet Voss I own the rainbow palette and I really like that one too so it is a good brand I also own the face palette from here which actually I should have used that today I didn't even think of that this palette is still available if you are looking for an amazing palette this is a great one um, beautiful summery shades but as you can see you can also use it in winter all right guys that is everything just remember there are no rules in makeup makeup is fun makeup is about self-expression and feeling your best and having fun like I said self-expression expressing yourself you know doing a little bit of art on your face every day that's what I love about makeup so don't feel like there are ever any rules don't feel like I'm ever telling you what you can and can't do or don't let anyone else tell you either so just wanted to put that out there that's everything I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear any recommendations for summary palettes that you'd like to see me do tutorials with or any other kind of videos you'd like to see from me. Make sure you're subscribed because I do have a ton of videos coming. I have been really focusing on my consistency. 2019, one of my main goals is to be much more consistent in my uploads, so you can look forward to that. I just hope that you will subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. I'm working really hard on my content this year. So that is everything I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you as always and I will talk to you again very soon.